Can a machine create art? This has been the question asked since the Industrial Revolution. The turn of the century and the fantastic advancements humanity has made in technology, people of the era often asked when and could a machine ever tackle the arts, and if they could, could they create an image that moved or inspired the viewer? The answer has been a no for decades until now. Midjourney burst onto the scene earlier this year, entering the open beta stage of its development. Midjourney AI is a program that uses artificial intelligence that can create art from textual descriptions similar to OpenAI's Dolly E program. This amazing new AI has demonstrated a fantastic ability to take abstract ideas and turn them into stunning pieces of art. This program is also straightforward to use. At the moment, the only way to interact with this program is to have a program called Discord, a popular free program used by people worldwide to communicate online. Okay, it's time to show you how this program works. I've connected to my Discord. The Midjourney bot is in my Discord here. These are some photos I've asked it to make in the past. And I'll show you how it works in real time. So you go down here, you type in your prompt, which is slash imagine. And now you use text to describe the image you would like it to create. So let's try this. Uh, child playing in the rain with a red coat. And we'll see what it comes up with. It takes a little bit of time and we'll just wait, see it till it's done. And it looks like it's completed. It's given us four variations of an image. And then from there, we can decide which one we like. So this is known as quadrant one, two, three, and four. Underneath the image, you get a U1, 2, 3, and 4. This means upscale. So if you were to like this image here, number 1, we can upscale it to have a higher resolution and a larger image with more details. If, say, you like number 4 down here, so we got V1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 means you like more variance, another selection, no, another 4 images to be made off of that type of photo. Okay, so it looks like the image I selected from here, this one here, has finished rendering. And I click on it, and I, to me, that's quite a stunning photo that AI completely generated just off of a couple of text prompts that I gave it. So if you liked it further, you could make variations on it. You could upscale it to the max, or you do a light upscale, which will change some smaller details. Here, you can see the more variations that we created. Created, again, stunning, very interesting looking photos off of the prompts.